Hey, what is going on guys? Now before we get into the unboxing, I just want to let you all know that I've actually got two of these kits. One is for me and one is a giveaway for a lucky one of you. Now how I'm going to be doing the giveaway is I'm going to be having a quiz during my live stream build of this kit. So I'm going to be streaming this live build on Wednesday, February 19th at 10 a.m. local time here in Korea. That would be Tuesday evening at 8 p.m in New York East Coast United States time so if you guys are living in one of those time zones that's the time if you're living in a different time zone you can figure it out for yourself what time that's going to be for you but throughout the live stream I'm going to be having a quiz and so in order to win the kit you'll have to be watching and answer the quiz questions live and then the person who gets the most points will be the winner of the kiss. So we'll handle that during the live stream. So just make sure you tune into the live build of this if you want a chance to win a faz of your own. Now let's get into the unboxing here. This is of course the Master Grade Faz Verka. This is the Sentinel version of the Full Armor Double Zeta Gundam. And it's pretty awesome. If you guys can't tell already that the box, not only does it look amazing, it looks beautiful, it looks so good as all Verka kits always do. The box art is always fantastic. Uh, so there's no surprise there, but the size of this box is gigantic. I know a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the size of the Sazavi Verka box, and as you can see, the box is slightly shorter, but it's definitely deeper, so it's a, just about the same size box as the Master Grade Sazavi or the Saikozaku Verka. It's gonna be a similar size to those also massive kits. And so yes, the box art is amazing here. You have the beautiful painting there of the Faz and then the background image there flying in there as well, kind of typical Verka box art style. And you just gotta love that gigantic massive cannon that it has and just that all clean white armor look that it's got for all the extra armor added on to it. It's just kind of already neutral gray body that it's got underneath the armor anyway. And the nice little bits of lavender and yellow highlights on there are just perfect. So all right, let's get a look around the box here. On the ends of the box, just gonna be the same kind of thing here, the name and the close-up of the illustration. On the bottom of the box, we've got just once again the name, titles and stuff, and then some specifications about the mobile suits and weapons and things that it has. Over here, we got to look at what the kit looks like without all the extra armor on there, so you can build it up like that as the Double Zeta Gundam basically, but again the Sentinel version of that, which I think has more aspects of the enhanced Double Zeta Gundam, right, if that's correct. And then over here, just front and back view what the kit looks like, all marked up, painted up, and everything. It looks fantastic, amazing, it looks so good. And then over here, just some detailed shots of the head, some of the missile openings, and just some of the little gimmicks and things about the kit, the markings and all that. So that's a nice little detail shots around there. And then on the top of the box, just some more information here, a little bit in Japanese and English, just about the production of the kit. And then we got a photo over here of all the added armor parts that are just separated from the main body. Got a look at the beam rifle, the double beam rifle there, and then of course the backpack and the giant cannon there. And so for the list price for this, you're looking at about 11,000 yen, which is pretty expensive. But as you guys know, if you shop at USA Gundam store, which I highly advise that you do, you guys can use my coupon code there, ZAKUREALIS10, to save 10% off everything on their store, including this kit. And so as always, the link to USA Gundam store is down below. And as always, a big thank you to them for their support. So let's get into it here. We're greeted right off the bat with a gigantic sheet of water slide decals here. That's always good to see. Some people may be a little bit stressed out when they see all those decals, but for me personally, I love to see all those beautiful water slide decals of a Verka kit. And so we've got just a bunch of runners in here, obviously, and so there's a ton of... I was going to say there's a ton of colors. It's not really the most colorful kit, obviously, but we do have a, quite a few different colors in here, different shades of gray, white, and black, basically. But there's some other stuff in here. I want to find our way down here to the manual first to take a look at this, because it's sure to be a bit of a thing here. We're looking at about uh, 36 pages of a manual uh, here for this, so let's go through this because as with Verka kits, there's always a lot of cool stuff to see in the manual. So starting off here on the back of the manual, just love this very simple design work there of the text on the back, looks very nice. On the front of the manual, just an image of the painted kit, but we have a nice cool Verka style image of that here on the front. Opening it up, and we've got a ton of pictures and information here all in Japanese and in English, so we'll just take a look at some of this stuff. So we've got some really cool detail shots there of some of that, a little bit about the missile launcher in the chest. Down here, a little bit about the head, you got some really nice detail shots of just the head by itself, the double beam rifle there as well. Over on this side, just more about the missile launchers there in the arm and on the backpack. You can hold on to the massive cannon or you can just have it just draped over the shoulder from the backpack and hold on to the beam rifle, the double beam rifle instead, the hyper mega cannon and the backpack, a little bit about that there, and then all the additional armor as you can see there. 
So the next couple pages here are just getting into the parts list, and there's a lot more X's on here than what I was expecting. I was basically expecting this to be the Double Zeta Verka, and then a bunch of additional armor for that, but there seems to be a lot of parts from the Double Zeta Verka that are going to be omitted for this, a lot more than I was expecting. So there's a ton of those parts there on the first few runners. We've got X's on, and then even through the F runners, and so yeah, there's a lot of leftover parts you're going to have with this. I wasn't really expecting that, and that's kind of strange in my opinion, but yeah, we've got a ton of runners with this, obviously. It's going on to a third page of runners, and so then we finally get into the construction. So it's going to start off with the chest, and then it looks like, so you build like the main body, and then you build the extra armor onto it right away. So I was wondering if you're going to build like the main body all at first, and then it goes back and adds all the extra armor on it, but no, but it looks like you build it all at once. So you build the main body and the additional armor all in one go. Then moves on to the head and the arms, left arm, right arm, the upper body is completed, then it moves on to the lower body, building the legs here, right leg, left leg, gonna be plenty of parts for the legs, then we get to the center pages here where we've got a bunch of text, basically we've got it in Japanese on this side and English over here on this side, so what this is is the position of the Faz and the full armor Double Zeta Gundam. And so this is an interview with uh, Hajime Katoki, and this is all about the Gundam Sentinel series and the Faz's place in the Sentinel series, so this will be really interesting. So I'm gonna go over here and just scan the text, and if you guys want to pause the video and read through that, you'll, you can do that if you want. I'll just scan this slowly enough so that you guys can check out all the text there, because this seems like it'll be pretty interesting information. That said, it's probably all on the wiki page already, or just a summary of the basic points of this are probably already available on the Gundam's wiki page. I haven't checked, but just in case it's not, or just in case you guys are too lazy to go check that out, you can now read it just here in the video. Anyway, all right. And then on here we have a couple of images showing the design process of the engineering of the kit, so that's always interesting to see. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, because I'm not into that, but uh, it's still cool imagery to see. And then of course we have the illustration here that was the basis for the kit, it looks like. So really great illustration there by Katoki. All right, then continuing on with the construction, we've got the legs and the waist finished up here, or here's the waist section, I should say. And then once that is done, then we get the whole body assembly done, then the double beam rifle build up that, and then the backpack. So you got the hyper mega cannon you're gonna build up, it looks like, first, and then the main parts of the backpack. And once that is all done, you got the final assembly of that, and then just construction of putting those parts to use on the backpack. Then it looks like a little bit about how to use some of the weapons, or just actually finishing up the chain part for the hyper mega cannon. Finishing that up, how to use the weapons there a little bit, and then how to put it on an action base. And so yeah, then we got the color chart here, the back. It's going to be pretty simple colors for that, but you got a bunch of different shades of gray essentially, from white to black, and a couple of colors in between, and then the diagram of those. And then you got the placement of all the water slides, so you got all the water slides that are going to go on the main Gundam body itself. And then you've got all the ones that go on the weapons, and then all the ones that are going to be going on the external armor as well, so you've got plenty of water slides you're going to be using for this kit. And then on this page, this is pretty cool, here you've got some more information about Gundam Sentinel, the full armor Double Zeta, and the Faz. So you got some more information here showing the box art of the original 144 scale kit, old kit of this. And there's some other information about some different uh, material of Gundam Sentinel, and then a couple other box art uh, images down here of the Zeta Plus C1, and the XS Gundam there as well, and just the image there of the full armor Double Zeta Gundam. So some pretty interesting stuff in the manual, but let's go ahead and now just get through this massive mountain of runners. All right, so let's get cracking here. We got the foil sticker sheet, which as you can see is just basically for different cameras and stuff. You got a couple there for the eyes and then just a bunch of different cameras all in teal. Then once again, just so you guys can see this in a little bit better detail, here's a look at the water slide decal sheet. As you can see, pretty typical Verka style, bunch of red, bunch of white. And there you go, so tons of decals here for this. A couple of gray ones on there as well. We do have some polycaps here in gray, PC211. And then we've got the cable part, which is going to connect to the Hyper Mega Cannon. All right, so basically the first half of the runners, of course, are gonna be all from the Master Grade Double Zeta Verka. And so here we have runner A in three different colors. We've got that kind of main, sort of slightly bluish gray all there throughout the center, some white down here at the bottom, and then some clear parts up there at the top. We've got two of this A runner. 
Runner B here is a massive runner of internal frame parts and it's all in this very dark metallic color so it's a pretty nice color here for the inner frame. Same thing here for runner C as well and we've got two of this C runner and the same thing for the D runner as well just a bunch of dark gray frame parts here. Then runner E here a bunch of our armor parts in that light bluish gray color we've got two of this E runner. Runner F is in this really beautiful purple color here for a bunch of these accent colors. We do also have runner F2, which is a copy of the top half of the runner up there. Runner G1 here is a smaller runner of some more parts in light bluish gray, and you can see our pilot figure on there, which we're obviously not going to use in this case. And then runner G2 here is in black for a handful of little black parts there for a kit. And then runner H we've actually got in two different colors. So we've got one in the light bluish gray, and then we've got a second H runner in black. And then runner H2 here is interesting. The Marona marking for this just says general use cable up there in Japanese on it. Now this runner is actually from 2011 and we got two of these. So if I had to guess what kit this is from, I'm going to guess the Master Grade Heavy Arms, but I'm not sure exactly offhand. Anyway, this is just all the cable parts that are going to be going on there for the belt connecting to the giant massive cannon. Runner J2 here is actually a four color runner. We've got a couple white parts there at the top, purple on the side or on the bottom there, the same color as the inner frame, the dark gray and they're in the center, a really dark navy blue color. And we've got two of this J2 runner. Runner K1 here is a few more parts in light gray. And we've also got runner K2, which is a copy of this section of the runner here. Now, interestingly, we also have two more runner K2s here, but this is two versions of that now in white. So we've actually got three of the K2 runner, one in gray, two in white. And so just a side note, the J and K runners, as far as I know, I believe are from the Enhanced Double Zeta Gundam Master Grade kit. So that was a P Bandai kit. So these are runners that were not included with the original Master Grade Double Zeta Verka, but are not new to this kit either. With runner L here, now we're getting into some of the brand new parts for this kit. So this runner is marked Master Grade 100 scale Faz Verka. There for the runner marking on this. On the date on the back, it actually has uh, 2019, even though it's a 2020 release. I guess the runner was produced in 2019 anyway. Same thing here for runner M1, a big massive runner. And then we do also have runner M2 as well, which is a copy of this little section there in the center. And then runner N, just some more parts here in white. We've got two of this N runner. Runners O1 and O2 are connected here. These are once again in the same color as the inner frame. Same thing as well here for runner P also. We've got two of this P runner. Runner Q is an interesting one. We've got this here in just the light gray color, but then we've also got runner Q1 which is a copy of this portion of the runner here. Now, that's an interesting way that they've marked that, why this isn't Q1 and this is Q2. My guess is that this runner is going to be used later for just a regular full armor double Zeta Gundam, not the Faz. And as you can see, like here's parts for just the Faz head that can be omitted from this runner, for example. Runner R1 here is some parts in that dark navy blue color we saw a little bit of before. And we've also got runner R2, which is a copy of this half of the runner over here. Runner S1 is all of our missile parts here in red. Runner S2 is some more accent parts in purple with once again the parts for the Faz head separated there on the bottom. Runner T1 here in the same color as the inner frame and obviously some of the massive parts there for the cannon. Then runner T2 is separated on this section over here for a couple of parts there in yellow. Runner U is a few more parts here in the dark navy blue for the backpack looks like mostly. Runner V1 here is in black and it's in a softer kind of material here for the hoses. And finally in this case the last runner is actually the least in that it's the smallest runner in the whole box. Runner V2 here is an additional three parts here in plain clear. All right, guys, that is it for the unboxing. Now I'm going to spend the next couple days getting all these parts ready for the live stream build. So I'll see you guys all then. And you guys can take your crack at winning one of these for yourself. And then I'll have the review coming up after that. So just on a side note, I've separated these parts into all the parts that are not new and the parts that are new. It's about 60-40 runners that are not new and runners that are new. But again, like we saw in the menu, a lot of the parts from the runners that are not new for this kit are going to have a lot of leftover parts. So I think we're looking at a substantial number of parts from this side that are just going to be left in the box. But we'll see. I'll let you guys know in the review, of course. And I'll talk to you guys plenty throughout the, during the live build because that's going to be a few hours to get this thing built up. As you can see, it's just a ton of parts. So I'm really excited. I can't wait. I love this design and this kit looks fantastic. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you once again to US Gundam Store as always for their support. And if you guys have any other further questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. If you have questions specifically that you want me to address during the live stream, of course, feel free to leave those down below. And with that, I'll see you all soon. Have a good one. Bye, guys.